What is up, guys? Welcome back. Um, you might have noticed I'm slightly larger today. That's because I'm not really showing off anything in the game. I'm actually just going to be talking about it, uh, and that's that basically just my background. I I want to do a video series. Um, a few days ago, I actually got the Dark Sea Emperor. I summoned him. If you saw my last summoning video, I actually summoned him. I was talking to a friend about his name. Like you know, we were just wondering where he got his name. And I remember that Poseidon and Triton were actually names of famous sea gods, so I decided to look up all their names and found out that actually all the, all the sea emperors were based off um, sea gods, like their names were all based off sea gods. So I thought it might be a really cool idea if I can, uh, you know, because I thought it was pretty cool when I was reading about about each one of them, and I um, thought it might be a really cool idea if I make a video series that talks about the origin stories of different types of monsters because we all know Summoner's War has like a lot of different monsters in the game um, you know with like Anubis and like what the hell, hell is a Roxasia or, or why are pioneers called pioneers um, and you know basically there's a lot of um, there's a lot of backstories to those monsters and I thought it, it might be pretty interesting um, to look up those backstories and make it into a video where, where people can watch and stuff so Today I'm going to be talking about the Sea Emperors because this is, I guess, this is where it all started. And i um, just going to be talking about some very, very simple stories of wh which, how each, um, you know, Sea God came to be. Um, and basically who they are, you know. So we're going to start with Poseidon. Poseidon is like the most famous one. Um, if anyone has ever heard of anything from Greek mythology, like you probably know Poseidon as like the the god of the sea like the most famous god of the sea um he is the you know one of the 12 olympian deities um, of the pantheon and from greek mythology and he just rules over the ocean his symbol is the trident which is like what's he what he's holding in in his hand and this is where like the sea emperors actually got their their reference like the tridents it's actually from poseidon because poseidon that's like his main symbol um and Poseidon, like a very simple backstory, is like the son of Kronos, the Titan, and brother of Zeus, uh, the you know the, the god of the, the thunder or god of sky, the sky, um, and basically Kronos swallowed all, all his children except for Zeus because Zeus's mom hit him, and Zeus, uh, when he grew up, went back, challenged Kronos, cut him open, and his siblings came came out and they fought Kronos together, defeated him. And they became, um, you know, the, the gods of the pantheon. And so he he rules after after the sea, and he's actually one of the like the main, um, like basically what the form of the sea emperors is, is like based off on, because he's usually depicted as like this guy that's holding a trident with a uh, with like beards and stuff, like kind of old and shit. Uh, so this is where the form or the the appearance of the sea emperor comes from probably like from Poseidon. Okay, so Triton, um, some people might know this, but he's actually the son of Poseidon. And um, in, in drawings and stuff, um, he's often depicted as a merman. So he has like the tail and stuff. And if you uh, if you ever watch The Little Mermaid, he's Ariel's dad, like pretty much. You know, but like, you know, that's not that's not really where the anything to do with the, the Greek mythology story. Um, and he's He's the son of Poseidon and Amphitrite, Amphrit if I pronounce that correctly. And he he also carries the trident, like the fourth thing, you know, same as Poseidon. But his symbol is actually the, the shell, like he, he actually has this, this shell thing that he blows into. Um, and he's the messenger god of the sea, pretty much. Um, there's not really much to say about him because I don't know any else, anything else but about him. Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Alright, so Okinos is actually pronounced Oceanus in English. Um, this is actually his Greek spelling, like Okinos. It has, has a random bunch of those squiggly lines, I think they're called accents on top, and um, and his original like Greek name, so it's it's actually pronounced Oceanus. Um, and, so, and it's where the name like Ocean actually comes from, um, I, I think, I don't know. Pretty sure Ocean is named after him. If I'm wrong, then... Um, you don't have to tell anyone about that. You know, you can you can keep it to yourself, and 
it, it saves me face. That's that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> basically, he's he's a titan, and he was like the god of the sea, or the the, the, the one like he's not really tech, a god of the sea, uh, but he's the like the personification of the sea. So, kind of think of it like this. Um, Poseidon later on like uh, represented the sea but Oceanus represents like the unknown waters like beyond what the what the Greeks know is the sea like you know because they 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 don't they they only know like a uh, the Mediterranean Sea and the At Atlantic Ocean at the time so he's like the you know the the, the, the further out unknown waters like he he's like the the, the representation of that, uh, basically. If, if I can understand that. Um, Pontus is like the the ancient, like, pre-Olympian god of the sea. Like, he's like the, the, the original, you know, the, the, the OG. Um, he, he was, he was like the, um, the, the god of the sea before all the other gods of the sea, uh, basically. So he's like the, the one that's like super, super ancient. He's like, um, he, he has no origin, he has no father, although some, like, some say, like, Gaia, which is, like, the, the, um, personification of, like, the Earth, was, like, his father, because the sea comes from the Earth, I don't, I don't know why, um, but, but some believe that, like, you know, he's actually, ha he has no father, he just is, um, kind of like how Christians believe God is, just is, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, and that's where he got his name. I don't, I don't know too much about him. Like, you know, he's, he's old as fuck. That's, that's all I, I know. Mananan? Mananan is actually the only sea god who has, who isn't based off Greek mythology. Um, he's actually based off an, an Irish mythology. And his, his full name is Mananan MacLear, which, uh, MacLear means son of the sea. So he's not like he's not like a really really big god like Poseidon and stuff. Um, basically, he's like a he's like a trickster god, you know. He's like he's like Loki and shit. Uh, and he, he's he's like troll as fuck. Um, and some some depict him as like the 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 fairest man that takes like the boat to the afterlife. You know, like you know if you know Greek mythology, like people take boats to hell i don't know um <laughs> and they ferry the souls to the afterlife okay I, I, I'm, I'm i'm just reading shit off wikipedia all right um and basically he's a trickster and he is you know he, so he he's like it kind of makes sense how they name him man main the dark one man in him because it's, it's he kind of has like a darker story because he's like the the one that's um the, the ferryman to the afterlife and he's like a trickster that likes to play tricks on people so he's uh he's technically not evil he's just a troll you know um he was just trolling before in in, in ancient times and shit um that's how man and came to be I have no idea if this is a good idea for a video. Like, this is just completely me reading bullshit and spouting shit off Wikipedia. Um, but that's pretty much it. None of these, none of these gods are um, are related to the monsters in the game. Or the monsters don't actually reflect anything off the gods in the game. Um, their their passives, their names, their skills don't really have anything to do with any of the gods um, in their backstory. But it's still pretty fun to know where their names came from. Um, and it, you know, sea emperors. I guess they're they're technically like sea gods. So, so like that that's where the origins of some of the like the sea god came to be. Um, I I think in future videos I'll be if I if I do make future videos, if you think this is a good idea, I'll be looking at monsters and um, I'm not gonna be like going off after each element because I don't think there's like a story for like the the fire inugami or the wind inugami. They're just random elements, um, but like there's 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 a backstory to like Inugamis, there's a backstory to like, you know, Nine Tails, you know, there's backstory to you know archangels and dragons and whatever. Um and I I think that's that might be the different the, the format for future videos. So I don't know if this is a good idea, if this is um something you guys like, if you guys found it interesting at all. Uh, but if you do, you know, leave a like so I know. 
or, or leave a comment telling me that you know if you like this or if you don't like it if you think I should have edited this like crazy but, but you know you and I both know I'm, I'm lazy as hell and I don't have time for that shit um, and or if you just rather make me use my time to make more guides and stuff um, but <laughs> there's like so little to talk about in the game anymore like there's a guide for Giants, Necros, um, TOA and all that and I think I made everything except for raids which I haven't started yet so I can't really do that um, so I don't know if this is a good, good idea for a future video. If you guys think this is good, then tell me. If you guys don't think this is good, you know, I, I'd really appreciate it if you tell me as well. And that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.